Chris, we were just talking about the number of retired dames, yeah, yeah, yeah. most of them being I names, but right. it looks like we're going to retire a B this yeah, time. Yeah, I think so. The storm's already caused a lot of damage. We still have to see what's going to happen in Texas. Uh, it's getting a little more organized over the Gulf, but to get a system that strong this early, Janae, is incredible. I mean, this broke a record. It's the earliest Cat 5 ever recorded. Uh, back when it was getting closer to Jamaica. Now it's still a tropical storm, but in that warm water, it's expected to strengthen. As you get closer to the coast, the water becomes more shallow. It's a little more warm. The latest numbers are 65 mile per hour winds. Still pretty disorganized, but trying to develop an eye wall there. We'll keep a close eye on it. Here's the forecast path of where it's headed afterward. Again, getting right to a category one, likely by tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then it becomes a post tropical cyclone through parts of the Midwest. So thankfully no impact here, but we'll likely get some cloud cover out of that. Just with that sprawling system, that'll be over the next couple of days. If you have any travel plans, uh, keep a close eye on that forecast. We'll watch it for you. Satellite and radar here closer to home makes you appreciate maybe a quieter day here, not dealing with anything that strong. But it is the heat and humidity that's the focus. So anywhere we have sunshine, temperatures are climbing. Let's just look at the next three days. Now we hit the upper 90s today. Monday, right back at it, 98. When you factor in the humidity, 106. No relief over the next couple of days. It's 97 to 96 coming down slowly. With that heat index stubborn uh, with dew points still in the 60s and 70s. That'll make it feel much hotter. So yes, we're well into summer. This heat happens, but this is taking it up another level. So just take a few extra precautions. We'll switch over to Futurecast here now and jump ahead through 11 p.m. There's your timestamp. If you're looking for a particular hour, we'll go overnight Sunday into Monday morning, and we start the work week off with partly cloudy skies, some sunshine getting through. Temperatures here still very warm. I can't rule out some really isolated showers, but by and large, Monday is dry. Slight precip chance as we get to the afternoon and evening uh, and clouds start to work their way in. Wind still out of the south here. That's temperatures Tuesday again, warming back up. Another round of afternoon thunder showers. Where these develop, it's a quick heavy downpour, flash of lightning and rumble of thunder. But overall, just your pop up thunder showers that are very typical of this time of year. This uh, sort of setup. 98 degrees Monday, 97 to 96, much better by midweek. We were uh, talking at the top of the show here that when we get some more storms and showers in place, which look more active Wednesday evening, Thursday and Friday, that'll help cool us off a bit. Upper 80s is going to feel much better and is closer to average. If you're already thinking about next weekend, we're looking dry, but hot and humid again, low to mid 90s. Janae.